Hello, so today I wanted to make a quicker video just covering some of my best tips to succeed here in the Godot game engine. But I don't want to just cover all the well-known and basic ones like staying organized, having goals, and creating a plan. Now, these all work very well, of course, but today I wanted to cover tips that don't really get mentioned but have helped me tremendously in my own game development journey. So hopefully this video can maybe build some habits and help you succeed in your own journey. So subscribe and, well, firstly, start with the boring parts of development first. Do the long, difficult, and mind-killing things that need to be done in development development because it is so easy to create a project and do all the fun tasks first that'll then leave you so unmotivated when you realize that you only have the long boring and not so fun tasks to look forward to so mix it up start with the difficult stuff and mix in some of the fun tasks and switch back and forth here and there and well for me personally i try every way possible to save myself from the situation of finishing all the fun tasks first and only having those hard tasks to look forward to just so i can keep myself more motivated by having that something to look forward to so many people give advice about taking zero off days or the no zero days rule and in my opinion this is pretty silly for the sole reason that game development for most developers is a hobby not a full-time job so forcing yourself to do something even something small is going to lead to burnout for example some days you're going to be tired and not feel motivated to work so don't force yourself to do anything instead take the day off rest and recap and maybe you can think about the game and the future of it but don't touch the project then once you wake up the next morning i'm sure you'll have that motivation and drive to develop again best thing about doing this is well you'll actually enjoy it and developing won't feel like a chore but now let's say you forced yourself to sit down and work at least from my personal experience the next morning you're not going to be as motivated to develop because the whole thing feels like a massive unnecessary chore that must be done sometimes i even recommending taking a whole month off and working on separate smaller projects maybe something for a game jam just to completely switch up the environment for a bit then you can return to your project with a fresh mind and more knowledge so basically what i'm telling you is don't feel bad for taking breaks and most importantly do not force yourself to work don't turn your game development journey into a chore just because you want to try and finish your game more quickly that leads into the next tip, patience. But not as in patience as the game's gonna take a long time, but patience as in there will be obstacles that you will come across. And in those moments, you're not gonna understand how to overcome them. But if you just know that with enough time, you'll eventually solve the issue and be able to move forward, you can't get overworked or upset when a problem occurs. And the key to patience in this sense is researching and learning when something happens. Don't drop the entire mechanic of your game if you can't figure it out in three days, but spend a month, read documents, build separate prototypes, do everything that you can to figure it out. The only reason I'm saying this is because when I started, I ran into an error and I would spend about 30 minutes researching and if I couldn't solve it, then I'd scrap the entire idea as a whole, which of course isn't the way to get better. So my tip to you is when a problem occurs, have patience, overwork the issue, don't quit on the issue, don't quit on the idea, and really something that can help with this is having a network of developers to talk to. And that leads into our next tip, which is networking. And there are so many ways to do this in game dev since the community is so understanding and helpful. And there are tons of discords like these three. These are my three favorite Godot discords. But within these, you will end up meeting all kinds of people. People who are so talented in a specific section of game dev that you can learn so much from them. You will meet other indie developers. You will even meet people who develop full time as their career. There is so much knowledge within these communities. So I really recommend joining them and talking and learning from others within them. I know I said we wouldn't talk about well-known tips like organization, so that's why this is a bonus tip. But make sure you have a minimal organization. Some devs have really complex organization systems like huge. I mean, it probably takes 100 clicks to find what they're looking for. So my bonus tip to you is to keep something simple and minimal, still a system that allows you to stay organized, maybe like a simple Trello board. But those are probably the best tips that I can give to you that I really believe will improve your game development journey. So let me know what you think and if you're already following any of these methods in the comments. But subscribe and until next time, stay safe and bye bye.